This is an introduction to the most advanced optimizer in daily fantasy hockey. What we've done is we've taken daily faceoffs, up to the minute news for starting goalies and line combinations, and inputted them into the optimizer. This is exclusive to daily faceoff, no other site has this. So as you can see on your goalies tab, if you see a green dot, that means the goalie is confirmed. And then for our line stacks, which you can add a stack by clicking line stack, you can select the number of stacks and the team. You'll then be able to select whether it's an even or a power play stack. And then you'll be able to select the number, the line number. So whether you want line one, two, three, or four, that'll automatically populate the lines coming straight from daily face off. You can also add a player. Let's say you want to add an, an additional player to stack alongside your line defensive player or what have you, whatever you want, you can add that in and fully customize your line as well. So if you didn't like a certain player, you had some information that we don't have, you can input that. So other than those two things, we have a ton of other options to offer you. So I'm going to run through it. You can select your site, FanDuel or Yahoo or DraftKings, and then just select the slate you're playing on. The slates with a green check mark are those that are haven't happened yet. You can select your projection source, which is cash, GPP, last five or last 10 games. And then we also give you an updated date and time, the last time the projections were updated. You can upload your own projections. Uh, you can easily download a player file. You can upload a player file. You can copy and paste directly into this. You can fill the players and add them in. You can also add exposure here as well. Tons of things you can do here. You can create your own projection set, name it, and then it'll be available in your projection drop down. So uh, fully customized projections giving you all the power there. You can also individually update projections. And then once you change your projection, you'll see the box turn either green or red. And if you hover, you'll see the change from the original. In your advanced options box, you'll find a bulk update, which is a way to update multiple players at once. And you can search for players by name. And let's say I added those players, I could lock them all, I could, I could exclude them all, I could adjust their projection up or down, and I can also adjust their exposure in all my lineups. So that's a quick way to update multiple players if you know who you want. You can filter by implied team total, salary, projection, points per 1K. If you need any explanation on any of these, just turn on the tips and then hover, and it'll tell you what each one does. And then we've got the floor, the ceiling, Consistency, whether you want players home, away, or both. Average time on ice, you can filter your players by that. You can also uh, put restrictions on your lineup budget. This is great if you're doing small slates or you want some contrarian lineups. You can decide whether you want your skaters to go against your goalie. By default, that's off. Same with exclude defense versus offense. Uh, max players per team. This is another way to really uh, diversify your lineups and you can lock the utility position as well. And this is a big one. If you're doing multi-entry lineups, you can do unique players per lineup. So this ensures that this number of players will be unique in each lineup. You can turn on and off the color badges. You can see behind me here. You see those color badges that we provide for your uh, easy assessment of each player. You can turn that on and off and you can show excludes or you can hide them as well. When you exclude a player back over here, um, like this red X, it's showing that this player is excluded, but you're still seeing him there. If you wanted to, you could take that off and you wouldn't see excluded players. You can also save profiles, which is super powerful. It can save tons of time if you're creating lineups throughout the day. These reset every day, but it's essentially a snapshot of the entire tool. So if you've made a bunch of settings, you really like them, you generate lineups, whatever, you can click that save profile and you can save my favorite my fave, click OK, and that profile will be there, and you can go back to it any time. So right now, I'm on, I go back to default, but if I wanted to, I could go back to my fave, and it would load all my settings for me. You can generate lineups at any time and select the number of lineups you'd like to generate. We also have built-in projection models that weight your projections accordingly. You can turn on exposure to adjust exposure on players, and our exposure works a, step, a special way. If you just adjust the exposure and the player is not locked. This is telling the optimizer this player can be in 25% or less of lineups. So they could appear in none. 
But if you locked the exposure, lock the player, and then you have to adjust exposure, you're saying this player is locked into 25%. So if you're running 10 lineups isn't a great example, but if you're running 15 lineups or um, let's just say it's 30% and you're running 10 lineups, this player is locked into three lineups, 30% of your lineups. If, if it's a, an off number, like five, and you're doing 30%, it'll round. You can also apply global exposure to all your players, which gives you diversity again on your lineups. This is just a sort by position. And then you can also search for player in any position at any time. You can reset projections. You can just re reset everything. Um, you can see all your projections side by side here. You can see all your games with Vegas information. You can lock, you can exclude entire teams. You can also send entire teams to the bulk update. So this heart button sends updates all the bulk updates. So I just sent all the Oilers there. And if I wanted to update them, give them a boost because our game theory over here is high, then I could do that all at once. Uh, we also have your players tab, which we've gone over. Excludes, it just shows all your excludes. And you can click X to unexclude someone. Your locks and your total salary locked your injuries that get updated frequently, and your generated lineups. So if you generate lineups, and you'll see your, your tab name, you can name these as well if you wanted to. You can see the slate. You can see the total points. You can see the total projections for all the other projection sources in one place. You can save this lineup, which saves it to the Save Lineups tab. You can download this for upload to DraftKings and FanDuel. You can also swap out a player that you don't like. So great way to update um, a player in a lineup on the fly without having to go back. You'll see the total salary used and the remaining dollars used as well. You can also update all players here by updating the players used. So these are all the players that you've used in your lineup and you can adjust from here, your exposure percentage, your total number of exposure for these players and all your lineups. So we've built this so that you can make all your updates and tweaks to your lineups on this one page and never have to leave. So this is why this lineup optimizer is the most advanced in daily fantasy. And don't get left behind. Start winning more.